Let me just tell you how nice it is when you finally get a little bit organized and you sell an item and you get that excitement and you can find your item. Alright guys, what's going on? This is the Sunday I've been waiting for. It's Kelly Bean here. And, uh, oh look, you see. I'm on my first errand at the post office with a few packages. I guess, um, there's too many things to say today. But first time that I've going to use the self scanner that thing is wonderful um but if you remember in one of my other videos i mentioned that i hadn't been to the thrift in about two sundays i love going on sundays my thrift around here one of my favorites is 50 percent off everything in the store on sundays so i do look forward to that but last week i was a little busy caught up had things going on and then i figured let me just organize what i have go through some things do some listings get ready for the week and then the two prior sundays they were closed because it was the sunday after new year's and the sunday after christmas right so the holidays came and i'm excited to just kind of get back into it i've been waiting for this sunday and the thrift opened eight minutes ago so i kind of do gotta go i gotta get there i'm not gonna spend a lot of time there i'm just kind of gonna walk through see if anything jumps out at me i have no um major expectations for today i kind of just wanted to get back into that thrift because they had been closed and i'm like so over the holidays and it's just great to be like new year let's go starting fresh the last two years have been absolutely nuts compared to i mean what my life which is nuts anyway so it was like nuts times a million i don't know what's happening here it's bothering me though um so yeah i don't know i have no big expectations for today but i'm excited to go maybe i'll find something maybe i won't i will let you know either way hey guys i'm back Oof. i don't know why i get so worked up oh my lord so i just did my little thrift trip i think i just got a little too worked up in there and plus the mask um but i'm excited i'm excited to go home and show mom everything i got I didn't think it was going to be that good. I was a little overwhelmed. I mean, I guess because I got here 10 minutes after they opened. Everybody was there and then the line was crazy. So instead of standing on the line, because I don't like to stay in one spot very long, I just wandered around the store a little bit more. And I think I found a couple nice things. I hit the hard goods. You know, I was just taking a peek at things. And uh, I tried to stay away from the um, personal use items because I end up getting more of that than the others. But I really just wanted to like hit the thrift store, get back into it. I'm still not that comfortable shopping, which I don't know. Are you guys like just totally comfortable in stores? And I mean, I am in some stores that I'm familiar with. So I'm trying to get familiar with them because when it's my first couple times, I kind of get overwhelmed, especially if it's busy. I'm not like big on crowds and stuff, you know, and then when the aisles are full, I'm kind of like, all right, I'll just come back when you're done. <laughs> I kind of like to take it slow, but you expect this on a Sunday because everything is literally 50% off. At least I'm pretty sure. But we'll check the receipt, we'll check the items when I get home. I'll show you what I got. I'm pretty excited about a couple things and other things I just threw in because they really weren't worth much. And I mean, I can get something out of them. So we'll see what we could do. And I look forward to next Sunday. But in between then and now, I think I'm going to have to clean up a lot of things, get ready to post and list, take some pictures. I'm doing a lot of that today and then throughout the week, but I'll set things up so I can do it a little smoother throughout the week. I don't know. We should just figure this out when I get home. Cause when I get out of the store, I'm a little flustered. Trust me, I'm more flustered in the store, but I'm coming down from it. See you at home guys. Right. Just a thought, is it me or is it just me? I mean, everybody has a death pile, I think, that resells, but I really can't think when I have a cluttered chaos mass and I'm way more productive when I don't. And if you know me, I have to usually like straighten things out before I can start doing any type of anything productive. So I just wanted to put it out there and say that this was mumbo jumbled all over the floor before. But I had to like make a duff bag and not a duff pile because now you girl can think. Look at all that cleared out space. You don't even, like if I just left it, it'd be a death floor, not a duff pile. Now it's a duff bag and um, I can move on.
Guys, you know when they say, like, when you're looking for something, you're not going to find it because you're looking. So stop looking and you're going to find it. The heck? <sighs> now I'm not going to be. Okay. Look what I've been looking for and I found it. <laughs> Just by sitting in a different spot and I was looking off into the distance and I s said, what is that in that shoe? I've been looking all over. Well, I haven't been looking all over, but I've been wondering where I left this last because I would really like to use it. And now I can. <sighs> See, it comes when you least expect it. For so many things in life. Especially these, which what are they? Shoe spacers? Something for the shoe, but they're amazing and I only have two and they were given to me so I didn't want to buy any I mean they were really cool and handy but I didn't know where they were for a little while and I didn't realize so I needed to take some pictures but look so if you're looking for something stop thinking about it you'll probably find it I mean I hope that made sense I do ramble I ramble often I'm not gonna deny it you are gonna hear and see a lot of me rambling on my channel if you do decide to watch Hopefully a lot of it is helpful or makes sense or is entertaining or maybe I just look like a big dope and maybe that's entertaining. I don't know, but I'm going to leave the post office now and go wrap up that item. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm a little bit bummed that we missed yesterday's thrift shopping session, whatever. I mean, um, some days around here at one of our favorite thrift stores, it is 50% off nose to toes day or head to toes. I don't know, but everything is 50% off of already crazy prices. So we skipped it. I was really looking forward to going to it, but we spent some really good time organizing the house, going through some inventory, moving shelves and boxes around. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I also found a couple of boxes of like death pile items that nobody had pictured, posted or anything. So they were just kind of sitting there taking up wasted real space real, real estate but so I feel like I kind of did go thrifting on my already thrifted items however tons are new with tags it is so the season for it I felt really good about not thrifting yesterday even though I missed it but now that everything's cleared out organized and I hit some death pile items next Sunday thrift store coming at you I did just want to show you hold on Hold on, music's on. Is it snowing in North Carolina? Can you see the snow? It looks looks like wet rain in the video. But I promise, guys, do I know how to turn this around? I don't know how to turn it around! So, here I am again in the office, the garage. The garage. It's a messy office. Or an organized garage. Look, they're shipping things. Look, it's organized. Or it's getting organized. Anyways, I was going through this box right here. I can't flip the phone around. I don't know how, but I was going through it because <laughs> mom's donating it and everything looks okay. I've taken a couple things out that I feel like I'm either going to keep or resell. And I think to myself, what is this? What is it to you guys? It's a butter box. It's a little butter Tupperware. It's a Tupperware that is shaped for a stick of butter why are we donating it she put it in the donate box and i'm gonna eee, get it and take it out because she has butter literally in another container right now why doesn't she have the butter in the butter box i'm gonna go and tell her i got her a butter box So as I'm reselling and I'm thumbing through a few items that I'm getting ready to picture, post the list, you know, um, I'm running into things that seem like they might not be worth a lot to some people, but the material, the quality, and the item itself is still great, but individually it might not be worth posting. So I'm thinking of selling them in a lot. Do you guys have an opinion about that? lots lots of two lots of five lots of ten like if i had a bunch of mm, leggings medium and then some small i'll sell the small and a lot of whatever number four and the medium and a lot of and for really cheap just to push them get rid of them 
I don't want to waste them. I don't want to redonate them. I feel like I can get something out of them. What, I don't know. But I know that individually it would just be like $9, $12 leggings, dress. I have six dresses that I'm looking at and I'm thinking I have three small and three medium from like Forever 21, Charlotte Ruse, Wet Seal type stores. Really good dresses, nothing wrong with them. But there's they're just not worth my time to take pictures of and list individually and wait to make money back. I'm thinking my only thing is what if somebody doesn't like the same patterns and colors? I guess it doesn't matter. I guess I can just post them and see where it goes. I mean, three dresses for $15, $5 a dress if somebody really liked them. I mean, they're really cute summer, spring dresses. All machine washable. You get a lot of use out of them. I'm thinking I'm going to do the lots. What do you guys think about lots? Do you guys lot things? Do you guys buy things in lots? Do you care? If they were like active, dry fit performance shirts that were like a lot of five large shirts for $20, are you more prone to go for those rather than the one for $15? I don't know. I don't know. When you think about it like that, one dress for $15 or like three dresses for $15. And if you don't like the other two, give them to somebody. I don't know. Maybe you have a sister. I don't, though. So, let me know. Also, while I'm on it, listing, posting, what's worth my time, what I like, what I don't like, what I'm sure of and what I'm unsure of, I mean... There's certain things I don't like posting. Are there certain things you definitely don't like posting? Maybe you'll post them anyways, because, I mean, anything to make a couple bucks. But maybe you won't. Maybe you won't. Maybe it's not worth a couple bucks to you. Is there something you really, really don't like posting and something you love posting? For me, I guess, there were certain things in the beginning I couldn't stand posting. It was all chaotic in the beginning, but then after a while I figured out there were certain things I love posting, not so bad, some things I can't stand posting, dress shirts, men's and women, two-piece things, three-piece things, suits, top and bottom, I don't mind tank tops, I don't mind vests, super easy to post, measurements, pit to pit, length, a little bit of the inside, one of the back, right, jeans, if you don't have much space, it could be difficult. Some people just don't like them, plus they weigh a lot. It all depends. Is there anything that you specifically do like, specifically don't like? Listing, posting, things that just take extra time. I've also learned, I guess, over time, if I have a lot of one thing, like men's dress shirts, and I don't really love posting dress shirts, but I will get a stack of dress shirts, five, eight, ten, whatever it is, and just knock them out. Just knock out the dress shirts. Just do the dress shirts. Just focus on the dress shirts. Do two at a time. Go take a break. Do four at a time. Go whatever you got to do to get the dress shirts done. I find that sometimes when I just find a random one <laughs> in a pile of something, that's when it's more, mm. but when I know I'm doing the dress shirts, it's not so bad. You get the dress shirts done. The dress shirts look good. And then they like the dress shirts. I mean, I hope they like the dress shirts. I don't, don't wear men's dress shirts, but I think I can take a damn good photo of one. <laughs> Kelly Bean, I'm a little new here. Let me introduce myself. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay from home. Um, I buy used items or take donations from friends and family, strangers sometimes that love to give me things. They know what I do with them and I resell them online for a profit. I've been doing it about a year and a half and you know, if any of you like to watch reselling or are actually resellers, you know that it could kind of get not lonely because I mean, we like our independence, we like our freedom. Or so I do. That's why I do what I do. But it could get lonely. And so I love to watch content. That's how I learn what to do and what, sometimes what not to do. Um, but I am no expert. And I do just like to meet new people in the community of reselling. People that have tips, tricks, comments, 
good things to say, bad things to say, all the things reselling, like estate sales, yard sales, thrift sales. What do you do? What's your thing? Let me know below if you do, if you don't, if you're against it, if you're not. But be nice, please. I'll be nice back. Either way, I just wanted to say welcome to my channel because I would really love to take some company along on my journey of reselling. I get really excited sometimes, but I have nobody to share it with. So here we go. Let me know what you think. But either way, I'll be back. Kelly Bean here.